uh, another uh, <clears throat> um, proof of that where Jesus, uh, uh, you know, another saying from Jesus um, that is attributed to Jesus from the Bible, um, where he says, not everyone that says, Lord, Lord, shall enter in. You know, this, this uh, totally uh, wipes out the, you know, the Baptist doctrine that once you're saved, you're, you know, eternal security. You're, you know, if you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, then you're going to heaven no matter what. That's not what Jesus said. Jesus said, not everybody that says, Lord, Lord, or not everybody that says I am saved or I believe in Jesus is going to enter in. Only those who do the will of my Father which is in heaven. Or in other words, those who surrender their will to the will of God. Those are the true people that will enter in. So uh, Islam came uh, as a completion to the message of Jesus and, and with the final guidance for all of mankind. Uh, and if they would but listen and follow, then they could obtain paradise. Um, like I said, the Bible is, has mistakes in it, uh, a lot of mistakes in it, and it's unclear. So, um, you know, it has been changed over time. Not that there isn't the Word of God in there, but other things have been added that, you know, so how do we tell which parts were added and which parts are not, you know? So we have to go to the Quran. The Quran has been proven not only by, by God, but even man has studied it and, and proven that it is authentic, it has never been changed, it's original. From, from when it was given in the beginning until now is original, has not changed, where there's no other religious book in the world that you can say that to. Um, you know, the, the original manuscripts of the Bible are lost. They, they don't have, and I think they, I, I can't remember how many thousands of manuscripts that they went through and studied of the Bible, and they said that going through all these different uh, uh, original manuscripts of the Bible, they were still unable to establish a parent text. They were unable to, by going through all the different Greek and, and the old manuscripts of the Bible, they were unable to establish an apparent text. So uh, the Bible is flawed and the Quran is actually the word of God that has been unchanged since it was given. And the Quran challenges uh, uh, anyone that, you know, if you think that this book is not from God, produce one like unto it and no one has ever been able to you know if you read the quran and with understanding you can't help but know that this is the voice of god this is god this is from god um so that is why you know we choose to read the quran and we hold it in high esteem as the unchanged uncorrupted word of god and like I said, there's several passages where um, God says that, uh, uh, you know, he has not permitted any corruption to enter into the Quran. So he's guarded it, safeguarded it and protected it so that it is not being corrupted. It's original. And uh, so that is uh, why uh, we, we use the Quran as, uh, you know, the, the revealed word of God. It's the most accurate uh, word of God, and it doesn't have the confusion in it. You know, people read the Bible, and they begun to worship Jesus, you know, through their misunderstandings, uh, the confusion of the Bible. And so, you know, this book, that if it's causing people to worship someone other than God Almighty, how could it be from God? You know, it's confusing the people, leading them astray. So, like I said, I, I don't knock everything in the Bible as you... Sort of, I have quoted a lot of scriptures from the Bible, hopefully trying to convince you that, you know, uh, the message of God is in the Bible, but also there's other things in there that are not appropriate. And to be able to discern what is what, you know, is, is you can't. So it, it's, a, it, you know, it's confusion. And God is not the author of confusion. He, he doesn't want us to be confused. Uh, he wants us to find our way. And so he sent... Uh, the last messenger, Prophet Muhammad, with the completion of his religion. And in the Quran, he said, This day have I perfected your religion for you, God Almighty. He 
He said, he perfected our religion for us. If any person seeks any way of life other than submission to my will or Islam, we, Islam means submission to the will of God. So if any person seeks any way of life other than submitting their wills to the will of God or Islam, never will it be accepted of him. And in the end, he will be among those who are lost. So the true religion of God is submission to his will, as was brought by Prophet Muhammad. Uh, and we thank God that, you know, for sending us a messenger to guide us and to correct us from, you know, how we were raised, we learned the wrong way, you know. So we thank God that he sent a messenger to clarify and show us what we should be doing uh, in order to gain salvation and, and enter into heaven. Um, there's a lot more I could say about uh, the basics of Islam, but obviously, you know, like I said, it would just go on and on. There's such a vast uh, amount of knowledge um, to be learned and to understand. And I, from my personal perspective, since I've started following Islam, I was born a Christian. But um, since I started following Islam, I have true inner peace. Um, you know, I don't f worry about, you know, am I going to make it? Am I doing what's right? Is this right? Is that right? I know I, that if I follow Islam and follow the teachings and the example of Prophet Muhammad, may God's peace and, being, peace and blessings be upon him and all the prophets of God, that, you know, God has promised paradise to those who would follow uh, him and his messengers. So I hopefully that gives you kind of a basic overview of what is Islam. Submission to the will of God, worshiping no one but God alone, and to follow the example of the prophets that God sent for us, uh, and the true revelation which God revealed in the Quran. Uh, 